Acting Land Secretary Luther Sipison has clarified that the Lands Department never paid bribes of 6,000 kina to police officers investigating a fraud case involving former Secretary Romili Kilapat. Mr. Sipison was responding to a newspaper article yesterday from a court submission made by the lawyer representing the former Land Secretary. Gregory Avira reports. In a media conference yesterday in Port Mosby, Acting Land Secretary Luther Sipison gave clarification on the payments, saying there was no fishy deal. In December, we, uh, after the NEC uh, directive, uh, uh, we drew up terms of reference for the investigation uh, team to go out into the four regions to investigate um, uh, dubious uh, compensation uh, payments. And uh, there was about 17 officers involved in this exercise. We had uh, six police officers uh, and also uh, staff from the department and also from uh, PM and NEC. The acting land secretary's response follows an article published in a daily newspaper about a court submission made by the defense lawyers representing the former land secretary, Romilly Kilapet, on fraud-related charges. We drew up... Uh, uh, allowances for these officers. Uh, there is no fee deal over the payments. The normal uh, daily allowance paid to our officers for travel uh, allowance. Uh, 6,000 kina was paid to the officers who are uh, involved in this uh, investigation. Mr. Sipison also mentioned of police commissioner's letter to him on the 16th of March granting the release of the six officers to be part of the investigative team. It's a normal police investigation, uh, state investigation. It's sanctioned by NEC. So uh, we are still continuing. So uh, I don't want, you know, the uh, matter to be confused. Huh? Meanwhile, the fraud case matter is currently before the court. Gregory Avira, NBC National News, Port Mosby.